Hey guys, it's Eric with Low VA Rights doing some more questions and answers, Q&A. A question we hear from time to time from our veterans and from our non-veterans is what is a free float down and is it worth it? In order to win over clients, some lenders are going to kind of tempt you or market to you, offering you options called free float downs. Now, we're gonna go over that right now, what it means, if it's worth it, and how you can get one. First of all, what is a free float down? Traditionally, a float down is an option where you can use the float down instead of a full-blown rate lock. When you lock your rate, you're basically agreeing to that offered interest rate for some predetermined period of time. Once that rate is locked, you cannot change it. That's great if rates start rising like they are currently. But what happens if you think rates are going to drop and you're afraid to lock today because if rates are gonna go down, you won't be able to get that lower rate. A float down, on the other hand, is essentially a rate lock, like the traditional one, but there's, a, there, there's an additional or added flexibility or benefit so that when rates change, should they go lower, and if they drop enough, you might be eligible during that lock period to drop your interest rate along with the market. Now, keep in mind, traditionally, you do pay a fee in order to lock your loan and have this float down option. However, with a free float down option, of course, that fee would be waived. Now, you might be asking, well, is it worth it to do it? Well, that's an easy answer. If it's a free float down, no point in not doing it. It would be worth it. You have nothing to lose. Now, if you have to pay a fee because it is not a free float down option, you're gonna to wanna to somehow try and calculate the break even point by figuring out how long it will take for the savings of the possible lower rate. You might not even get a lower rate, but if you did, how much will those potential savings offset the fee that you paid for that float down option? Now, how do you get a float down option? This is fairly simple. You gotta ask your lender if they're offering one. If they say no, then you can't get one unless you switch lenders. If they say yes, then you're gonna to wanna to start asking questions as to whether or not there's a fee or it's free or what. You're just gonna to have to understand what you're asking for. Float downs do usually come with specific stipulations that define how and when the float down can be implemented. So you're also gonna make sure you understand all of that. If you do go with a float down option, free or otherwise, you'll need to keep track of mortgage rates so that you can ask or ensure that it's applied, though most lenders might do it for you automatically when rates drop. Some aren't gonna do it automatically, some are. Here at Lovia Rates, we do not offer float downs per se at the time of locking, but we do have in our internal lock desk policies, should someone be locked in at a high rate and then rates take a substantial drop, which they aren't gonna do anytime soon, depending on when you're watching this video, but they have in the past when the Fed started slashing rates. There are situations where free of charge, when asked, we might be able to float the rate down, but it does require a very large decrease in interest rates that does not happen often. But no matter what, you should always be shopping around for the best rates and the best lenders. And if asking about their float down options is something you want to do, then please ask about it. It's never going to guarantee that a specific lender is going to give you the lowest possible rate. It's simply being used primarily right now as a way to entice you to call that lender. But now you've got more information. I hope that was helpful.